In this sequence, I want to talk about the check and money flow. Check and money flow uses volume and price, whether positive or negative, to figure out if money's starting to move towards a stock or not. And the idea behind the money flow is just its bigger picture. It's not so much day by day, but it's kind of the trend change that you see in check and money flow. So in this example here, I've got a, a stock with some ups and downs in it. And you can see on a daily basis, I don't find the money flow as helpful. But if I switch it to weekly, by just changing the parameters. What you could see is the check and money flow was positive. It went negative for a long period of time and then all of a sudden started to re uh, turn up. And at that point on this weekly chart, this was also a nice place to look for an entry. And in general, you know, the price is almost 50% higher with positive check and money flow. So the idea behind it is it's a very simple graphic. Is it going negative or is it starting to revert to positive? And when you see that change over, it's pretty good. Now, it does have one simple setting and that is the number of periods you want to take into account. And you can change it and just get a feel for whether or not it's actually um, a timely signal. So in this case, the signal starting to go positive over here in April, that's long after the low so I would suggest that the 20 period was more timely and we'll just go back and change that and you can see the difference in how the the money flow reacted so it got you out on a timelier fashion back in here and got you back into the stock as it started to rise again so play with the parameters a little bit but for the most part what you want to see on a stock is positive money flow moving into it and the shaken money flow is a good way to find that